everyone. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, mostly, mostly ladies. Um, and welcome to our fourth annual uh, Women in Pharma breakfast session. My name is Dorothy Chilitsky. Um, I'm VP of Client Service at a company called Script, and I will be moderating uh, today's morning session. And uh, I'm thrilled to introduce our three panelists. Uh, Lee Ferreira is the uh, business unit director of multiple sclerosis at Genzyme. Eileen McCormack is marketing director of um, new products and business development at AstraZeneca. And uh, Nancy Krunich is a vice president at Luminex Molecular Diagnostics. And just, uh, um, I'll say a few words before we start. Just wanted to start off the session by introducing this topic. Uh, women in pharma doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, just letting you know that actually the number of women that are breaking into top executive jobs at Canadian companies does remain small, and it is growing at um, a snail's pace. Uh, according to a study conducted by Catalyst Canada as of 2010, women held Uh, so men are still twice as likely to hold a senior executive position than women are. Um, the gap is somewhat less in middle management, but it's still large. So why is that? Um, certainly women do represent half of the workforce in Canada at 48%, but they're not making it to the top in any profession. And uh, even in the nonprofit world, where you would expect to have a lot of female representation, only 20% of those on top are women. So uh, a big congratulations to um, our panelists today, who I would say have gone against the odds and uh, made it to where they are today. So just to start off, um, I would like each of you to introduce yourselves, um, give the audience an overview of uh, your current role, if you can also add, did you always dream about working in healthcare or did you fall into it? And uh, also include maybe some information about where you grew up, uh, influence your family had on your career path and uh, where you went to university and where you studied. Lee, start with you. So um, uh, as Dorothy mentioned, I'm a business unit director uh, with a small biotech company. Uh, called Genzyme, which is now, uh, as many of you know, been acquired by Sanofi. So now we're a big biopharmaceutical organization. Um, but my primary role there uh, is to, um, to build the multiple sclerosis franchise really from a commercial perspective. So that's all of marketing and all of sales. Um, and uh, currently we're uh, in a launch phase for some products uh, that we anticipate will hit the market. Um, within the next year or so, and uh, that's really my primary responsibility at this time. Um, yeah, I studied at uh, the University of Toronto. I did both my undergrad and my graduate degree there. I have a Master of Science degree, and uh, I did not plan on going into pharmaceuticals at all. It, it happened, um, you know, one might say by happenstance, but maybe there was, you know, there was a reason. Um, although I will say this, my mother always, always wanted me to be a physician, so I told her I work with them daily, <laughs> and although I'm not quite one yet, nor will I be, um, I'm certainly, I think, as, as all of us are, um, we have the ability to impact the, the healthcare industry and what we do. Uh, so I did not start uh, in commercial, I actually started in um, clinical research, and that's... Um, and that's really how I found my path into the industry. I was working at Baycrest Hospital. Uh, I was working with a physician there who was conducting some clinical research with quintiles at the time. And, uh, and I met the clinical research monitor. And I remember distinctly asking her, um, you know, what do you do? Uh, and how could I learn how to do it? And she pointed uh, to the compendium, that big book. Um, that now we, we have online, but I went through that book 
um, and looked at every manufacturing company listed in the book, and I sent every company a letter of intent and a resume, and I got one call. Mm. But that was it. <laughs> that was the call. And. Uh,